So this is something I have to be extremely careful discussing and breaking down. As most of you already know, Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay has leaked. Rockstar Games apparently is already actively striking down videos that include the footage, so I can't include it, but I will leave a link in the description to my Twitter account, which may or may not have links to that leaked material. The important thing to note is that what has been leaked isn't spoiler-filled, it's simply about 30 seconds of gunplay, and in this video, we're gonna break down what was specifically shown. But also, the leaked gameplay isn't the only thing that was revealed because new screenshots have additionally emerged, one of which actually being part of the world map, and the good news is that it appears the world map of Red Dead Redemption 2 is much bigger than we expected. Nonetheless, so the source of this leak is actually coming from the Reset Era forums, user Bligup is the individual behind this leak, a lot of people faking it, but he is the actual one. Based on his comments, it looks like he actually didn't play the game early, but received the footage and images from someone who does have the game, which if I had to guess is a reviewer. So let's start by discussing and breaking down this gameplay footage. The scene begins with Arthur Morgan, I believe right outside the town of Valentine midday. He's wearing the PlayStation 4 Early Access Grizzlies Outlaw outfit, which was recently revealed by PlayStation. And he's riding on his horse, which the player has named Max, which if you don't already know, you can name your horse. So it appears the player has recently found a campsite right outside of town and he slaughtered every single one who was there. Arthur Morgan's wanted meter then starts blinking red to white, with it noted below that law enforcement is interrogating people in the area, asking what has happened. The specific scene begins as three law enforcement officers, we're just going to call them officers, not sure if they're Pinkerton agents or actual marshals or deputies, anyway, they approach the campsite on horseback. Nobody is left alive, at least in this specific area. Arthur Morgan is the only one there, surrounded by dead bodies, and that's when the law enforcement officers slowly approach Arthur. One of them gets off of his horse with his rifle in his hands and approaches and asks Arthur, what's your business here? That's when the player chooses to get off his horse and Almost immediately, the other two officers do so as well, but they're actually spread out a little bit, with one to the left of Arthur and the other to the right. I find that very interesting, because it appears that NPCs have some strategy to approaching the man they believe has killed a bunch of people. One of them, maybe the sheriff, walks to Arthur Morgan, and the other two remain on horse, just in case we choose to flee, which actually is a really neat detail, and they did keep their distance a little bit at least. Anyway, continuing on, as the player gets off of his horse, they are unarmed at the moment, that's when they open the weapon wheel, time stops, and we see the weaponry that they have on them. They obviously have the unarmed fist selected, which in the middle of the weapon wheel we see all the details about this point of attack. As previously revealed, there is a damage, accuracy, range, fire rate, reload speed, and condition meter that each of them goes up to a max of four levels. With fist, the damage output is just a bit over a one, the range is less than half of one, and the condition obviously is at the max because your fist can't degrade and condition like a firearm. Anyway, the other weapons at the player's disposal is a sawed-off shotgun, a Kettleman revolver, a knife, a lasso, a bow and arrow, and I believe the carbine repeater. The player also has an option to dual wield the sawed-off shotgun and the revolver, which is what they choose to do. That's when the player moves past their horse and approaches the first officer who got off of his horse. The other officers notice the player has weapons now in hand. They then draw their weapons as the first officer approaches to interrogate us. That's when the first officer says, as he approaches, do as I say, and before he finishes saying that line, Arthur shoots him and responds saying, all right. The officer that was to the right also goes down as Arthur, while shooting the first one, also hit him. The last remaining officer to the left first misses Arthur with a shot, but he hits him with his second shot, which we can see right above the minimap the health icon drop a little for Arthur Morgan. Then the player would hit the last remaining officer with multiple shots, and before falling down, the officer actually gets a shot off, but it goes in the wrong direction. Surprisingly, the officer actually would survive the initial shots and gets back up to then again get shot by the player, which actually triggers a slow motion kill cam. Now, some other observations from this combat scene. 
Before the first officer actually approaches Arthur Morgan, we have an option to chat with him, but we choose not to. If we had chosen to chat with the officer, we may have been able to talk our way out of it, but that didn't happen. Also, as soon as we get off of our horseback, music starts playing. This is part of the dynamic score that we'll play during specific situations, so pretty much a tense situation will come with music that fits the scenario. As soon as gunfire erupts, every single horse runs away except for ours, which this likely is linked to the horse bonding system. A strong bond means your horse will stay with you and trust you in a chaotic situation like this. Additionally, after the player gets off of his horse, there is an option that pops up for us to access the horse weapons and also the horse cargo, which remember, we no longer have unlimited items in our inventory, so managing our storage and getting the right weapons before a mission or encounter will be key. But at the start of the scene, at the top left of the screen, it stated, You obtained a premium cigarette pack. Each premium cigarette pack contains a collectible cigarette card within. We've seen some of these cards before, which are actually included in the collector's Edition, but I'm still not sure what these cards do or if they simply are just something that we can collect. As soon as we eliminate these law enforcement officers, the wanted meter changes from interrogation to identifying Arthur Morgan for murder, with it now listed that we have a bounty of $185, which is likely linked to other dishonorable deeds the player has committed. Lastly, there was some criticism as the bow and arrow can be seen at one point clipping through Arthur Morgan's hat, and I wouldn't think much of this as there will be a day one patch and I'm sure bug fixes to come. Other than just this footage, there was also more leaked first portion of the world map was leaked, and yes, it directly aligns with the leaked 2016 map that we've been talking about for the last few years. Although certain areas and other locations' names have been changed and more areas have been added, specifically the Grizzlies goes much further north now, and it looks like a few islands are spotted west to the region of Lemoyne, which actually may be part of an eastern Nuevo Paraiso or Mexico region. As noted before by some of the previews, there is a fog of war up, so only part of the map is revealed in this leaked image. Additionally, there was two more new screenshots, one showing a bunch of NPCs in a drunken line dancing in a saloon, which may be the effect of Arthur drinking a little bit too much, and the other image was a new angle with the heads-up display on of Arthur and a man fighting right outside of the Valentine Saloon. It looks like it's the same scene that was previously shown in the first gameplay video of Red Dead Redemption 2. Anyway, gang, we're just about four days away from release. I'm actually shocked that gameplay is just now leaking, but for the most part, Rockstar has done a great job at preventing leaks for Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay. Although this leak today is just the start, and while there wasn't any spoilers from this leak, I expect in the coming days much bigger things to get revealed. So be cautious, but overall my impressions are that this gameplay looked amazing. The gunplay looked crisp, and I only wish Rockstar would have released 5 minutes of gameplay just like this with no edits, but let me know your thoughts on the new gameplay that was leaked in the comment section below but a big shout out to some of the newest channel members, Christopher is a Savage, Chief Cray, Galactic Magic, Landon Ernest, and Michael Giddens. Big thank you guys for directly supporting the channel, and you can become a member by clicking the join button below. But also make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value, and also consider subscribing for much more Red Dead Redemption 2 content to come, as I'm one of your best sources on this upcoming game, and remember, Outlaws for life.